I do not know if I can show any of that. Dude, you would give Leatherface a run for his money. Holy f- May God be with you all. Hello internet, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, otherwise known as Pugapilla across all my social platforms. And I've got one question for you. Are you ready to rock? Are you ready to rock? <laughs> Screamo. Today what we're going to be watching is Studio 666, which is the Foo Fighters first and probably only film. The reason why I say only is earlier this week at the time of this recording, Taylor Hawkins, the drummer of Foo Fighters, uh, tragically passed away at the age of 50. Yeah, it's affected me a lot, I'm not going to lie. The Foo Fighters are a massive band that I've looked up to for many years. I've loved their music, I love the band. So the news hit me really hard when I found out that Taylor Hawkins had passed away. I still don't know how I really feel about it. I've seen them perform live at pretty much every concert they've done. I actually missed their most recent one in Australia because I had gastro. I am absolutely kicking myself about that because I sat at home and, you know, I missed out um, on their last show. But it's things like that when they happen, you're like, fuck man, I, I could have, you know, I could have seen them perform for the last time, but I, I didn't because my butthole was sore. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, hi, hello, how you going? Typically here I say leave a comment in relation to this, blah, blah, blah. But what I'm gonna say is, you know, just live life, man. Just, you know, just do the things you wanna do and that's it, just have fun. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be really tough to watch considering they're one of my favorite bands. Just a different vibe. Last thing I'll say is rest in peace to Taylor Hawkins, uh, absolutely phenomenal drummer. If you guys haven't heard of him or seen his work, please go look it up. He was very, very, very talented. Dun -dun 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 you know what seems fitting? Having the lights red. Because I know this movie is about like Foo Fighters coming up with their new album and they move into like a demonic house. So let's get some red lighting for once. What are we panning to? Something's going to be at the doorway, isn't it? Is that Jenna Ortega? Fucking hell, she's in everything. I have a gut feeling she's not going to survive this opening sequence. She was fine in Scream 5. I don't know about this one. She is a horror queen. I'm telling you that much. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yep. <laughs> you can't run away from that one, Tara. Um, uh, Jenna. God, that is so cool and so weird to see Foo Fighters present. Should I be watching this movie late at night? It's currently 11 p.m. Should I be watching this? This is about the devil. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be hard, isn't it? Oh, that is such an unfortunate name. Whitney Cummings? Where? Where is she doing that? I'll be honest, I never, ever, ever, ever thought there would be like a cinema released movie about the Foo Fighters. <laughs> right, this intro, you know, it's a bit ever long. I wonder how many like song title puns I can cram into this video. Present day, I wonder what I'm getting. Vice song, you guys talking about Sting? Do you know what Sting does? Are you aware of this? Hurt? That's what I assume Sting does, it hurts. Where's my fucking record, girl? It's all up here. He has the best voice. I could listen to Dave Grohl speak all day. It's our 10th album, okay? We can't do the same old shit. Why? Your music is still fucking gold. All right, so you want me to find you some wizards and dragons? Yes, that's what we should be doing. And then you can name the album D&D. &D. Hey, Barb, I'm here in my office with the Foo Fighters. <laughs> Why are you yelling? So this is the house and it is incredible. I can't wait to show it to you. Come on. I would have said something along the lines of this is the place I've been waiting to take the Foo Fighters all my life. Oh, there was someone in that window. <laughs> Don't take the place. Well, I don't like that. Don't flash things on my s- Don't do that. Stop. Oh. Oh, shit. That's definitely how you learn to fly. Well, we've got the sound. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love the premise. Hey. Keep playing the bloody drum things. I don't know anything about music. It just sounds cool. 
Ah, it's too far. Did you hear that? That is such a cool concept. I love that. Did you touch my drum set? A month in this fucking shithole? And then we can go on with our normal lives. What am I gonna tell my grandma? Oh, I can call your grandma. Just um, tell your grandma that you're rocking out with the boys. Mm. Stay away from my booby! That sounded like you said, stay away from my booby. Can you believe this man is like 60 years old? No way. Dude doesn't look a day over 59. Is that the guy that was on the stairs with his like jaw open? Excuse me. Yo, excuse me. Uh, uh, fuck that. That's weird. Not weird. That's terrifying. If I followed a gardener out to my hedge and he disappeared behind the hedge, I would be moving house. Dude, who are this house? A bunch of fucking mental patients? That was cool. Oh, oh. He's so hot. Oh, shit. Wow. He's totally fried. He's fucking dead. No shit. He was just laying on the floor being electrocuted for like two minutes. Guess we should pack up. Yeah, you guys should probably walk. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we can do a couple drum tracks here in his honor. And exactly. Oh, that feels really off hearing him say something like that. There's this weird dude in the yard creeping around. What kind of dude? A gardener dude. Wouldn't be surprised in this house. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell? It's a meat. Ew, I don't like that. Talk about getting ahead of yourself. My mind is flooded. Sometimes it's like Prince and then it's like Slayer. Yeah, don't think about it too much, man. Don't let it get the best of you. I've got another confession. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck you! Why are you hiding behind the fence like that, you idiot? Introduce myself in case you boys needed anything. A backup singer. <laughs> I got another oh. confession. We'll let you know about that one. Okay. I'm around. You hired. Not. You want to get a sound bath later. Okay, Ooh. Romeo. Just climb that fence, little man, and she's all yours. This house has been empty for years. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Don't be weird. Okay, check it out. Got a couple new riff ideas I've been working on. I want to lay them on you. <laughs> You've already made that song. Dude, you've played that song before too. Everlong. It's called Everlong and you wrote it about 20 years ago. You've heard, yeah, exactly. I bet you with Dave like playing all the old songs, thinking they're new and stuff, he feels like a bit of a uh, pretender. <laughs> He's a beautiful singer. Ah! Hello, Dave. Lionel! Why the fuck is Lionel Richie here? That's my fucking song. You understand what I'm saying? I love that song. It would have been iconic if Lionel Richie was dancing on the ceiling. That would have been amazing. I never thought in my life I would get jump scared by Lionel Richie, but here we are. Oh, ew. Oh, oh, ew, 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 ew. Oh, that is terrifying. That is actually scary. Oh, I hate that. I actually hate that. That's giving me chills. Whew. Fuck you. Oh. oh, I really don't like that. I really don't. Oh. Ah, ha, ha. What the fuck is happening? It's not even that dark in that room. Close your blinds better. Yeah, I got like three or four chicken parms here. I have a feeling this is about to be your last delivery, dude. What? You're damn crawl. <laughs> Hell yeah. I would do the same thing. I'm seriously a huge fan. You're like my second favorite band after Coldplay. Oh. Dude, Coldplay? But yeah, I'll run back and get some ranch and drop it off uh, with my demo if that's cool. Don't self-plug your band in front of Dave Grohl. Ugh, that gave me a gross icky icky taste. You come here today because you have songwriting 
constipation. Songwriting constipation. <laughs> Where's the rest of the band? Oh, they're all asleep. I answered that question as soon as I asked it. This is, I don't like this. This is giving me bad vibes. I'm honestly surprised in the quality of the scares so far. Yeah, I'm, mm, mm. In the window. No, okay. <laughs> ah, in the other window then. Oh, I fucking hate the, I hate how it's blurred in the background. Don't go down there. Don't go down there, Dave Grohl. That's not a good decision. Of course you're gonna, of course you're gonna fucking go down there. Ugh. Nah, the minute I see cobwebs in front of the door and shit, I'm turning around and walking back up. No, no, <laughs> no. I'm signing the fuck out. Thank you, I'm out, bye. My brain said rocket raccoon. My brain said rocket raccoon straight away. That's what happens when you piss off Star-Lord too much. You get gutted. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Dream Widow. Hey, that's the uh, like mini EP they released alongside the movie. That sounds pretty nice. You're just gonna plagiarize the other band's music? Fuck yeah. Oh my god, he is. Uh, Ak, excuse me? <laughs> well, red was definitely the right color to put on my LEDs, wasn't it? <laughs> Something's gonna be there. Oh, hello. Ooh. Oh God. Well, there goes my hero. I promise you that is the last uh, Foo Fighters song related pun I'm gonna do. The fact that that's actually Dave Grohl just shredding the guitar is amazing. God, that's impressive. I wish he would finger me like, um... I wish I was that guitar! Wow. You guys aren't suspicious on the whole when he finishes a song or a note that like there's a growl around the house. It's just like you're musically constipated and now you just took the biggest musical shit on us. <laughs> what key is this in? L sharp. I would say that key sounds like a W to me. It's not an E, it's an L. And Dave Grohl is a W. I know nothing about music. What's an E? What's an A? What's a what's a B? I don't know. What's a minor? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but if that was funny. You want some num nummy treats? God, I detest that woman. It's okay, you might not like her. Just get your little weird friend who wanted her number earlier to jump the fence. What the? God, get out of my window. She's hot. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> I said that. How you feeling? Everything okay? She knows about like the demons and shit in the house. I need to talk to you alone. Ooh, I'd like to get you alone too, no, maybe. It's about this house. Calm down, you seedy little bugger. I'm not a big fan of death metal or like heavy metal like this, but I guess it sounds cool. It's a bit too intense for my ears. You know, I hear do -do 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 and my ears like, hey man, calm down. It's a little bit intense for us. To me, it just feels like there's something missing. You know, guys, let's just run through what we've got. You fucking asshole. Hey, Chris, I think you're going to get killed first. Hey, what? I got an idea. Yeah, you're dead. You're what I'm dead. I don't want to say you're dead. It feels wrong. Oh, you were wanking. Oh, shit. I hope you had a good one. Are those mine? Oh, yeah, I borrowed them. Oh, I did not need to see that angle. What are you doing in here? This is the most comfortable place I could find. Are they not 
couches or anything in this house? There has to be a more comfy spot than a bench and toilet paper. Each one of these little nails is one of us, connecting all of us in an unending form. There's no beginnings, no end. <laughs> I love this man. I said no. Uh-oh, Pat Smear. I think you're about to get smeared all over the wall. Did you just say no to Dave Grohl? I would never say no to you, Dave Grohl. I don't even know how to play music. The only music I know how to play is on Spotify. I'm a fucking rock star, okay? I got whatever I want, the best parking, wherever I go for eternity. I can't wait for TMZ to report that Dave Grohl went batshit crazy over an album. You know what? I'm not calling him Dave Grohl anymore. That's Dave Growl. Sorry for being such a giant red puckered orangutan's asshole. That is strangely specific. How do you know what a giant red orangutan butthole looks like? Okay, if we could just finish this song. The song is pretty epic, dude. I do think it should have an ending, by the way. Thank God. Okay. Any song should have an ending. Otherwise, it's not technically a song. It's a live stream. Chris Rami, you come in like warships, banging off each other. You come in like Riders of the Apocalypse. Oh man, that, mm, that you just know they were the like best of friends. So that kills me to see. Damn! Like that! We got this! Cool. Right? Yeah. I don't think any of you guys actually have a choice. He's gonna kill you if you don't help out. I just realized how red <laughs> it makes my ginger beard. Rise and shine. Who the fuck is this Foo Fighters member? I have a feeling I won't be able to play any of the actual music in here. So you'll just see me doing this. And it won't make much sense, but I promise I'm headbanging to something cool. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. 14 minutes? 19 minutes? 24 minutes? 30 minutes. There is no way there is a 30 minute song on that album. I'm checking. I haven't listened to this yet. There is a 10 minute song. Jesus. How long's the album? 42 minutes. Okay. For a second I thought they performed like a full 30 minute song. I was like, that is fucking crazy. You sure you want us to leave? I think we're all good. Let's get out of here. I would be getting in the car with you too, Colonel Sanders. See, I don't know anything about music. I don't know what any of those buttons are or anything. <laughs> They're volume controls, right? They're sliders. But what do they mean? Cool, man. I haven't seen you eat anything all day. Are you hungry? I ordered a shit ton of steaks earlier. The guy should be here any minute. Cool, man. I'll, I'll let you know when he's here. I hope Dave Grohl's like not staying up all night to get this album done. That is so unhealthy and would probably result in him having to have medicine at midnight. Uh, here's your food. And uh, yeah, I brought you that uh, CD I was talking about. No. No, why would you do that? Don't be that SoundCloud person, okay? Never be that person. I used to be like that person with my YouTube videos. I used to go, hey man, I'm a YouTuber. Can you check this out? Don't do that. Please don't do that. It's the one way to get people annoyed at you. <laughs> it's my demo that I told you about. Yeah. It'll be the last demo you ever give out. Who the fuck was that that just walked behind there? Sorry it took so long. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure they got your order right. That doesn't look like Dave Grohl to you, does it? Are you blind? Dave! The hell? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, ew. Ew, ew, ew. The red eyes are so disturbing. Oh, oh my God. See, those like demon things aren't scary up close. From afar, when they're blurred, yeah, they're terrifying. Not the ranch! Hey, did that delivery guy ever show up? I don't think he did. Maybe give him like two stars? Yeah, just dropped the bags and left. One star review. Just drop the food at the door, didn't let us know. By the time we found out, the food was actually cold. We'll never return here again. Hope you fire the guy, actually. We're not actually making a 38 minute long song, right? Oh my God. It's gonna be fucking longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
gonna be epic, man. I bet hanging out with these guys would be the fucking best time ever. Hey, buddy, why don't you let me take the grill tomorrow night? She'll leave mine raw, dude. Oh, oh, dude, don't eat that raw. Juicy. Oh, yuck. That made my tummy feel funny. Hey, guys, it's Barb. Ew, it's the American Horror Story chick. You play a bitchy character just as well as Emma Roberts does. Oh, is that the guy from outside? Is that the menu log driver? <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. What are you doing? Pat! I thought you were dead. So did I! Does this guy just sleep wherever the hell he wants to sleep? <laughs> Find a bed! A secondhand mattress, even. What did that say? The Sacrifice Teeth the Book. Or does that say The Sacrifice Feed the Book? I did, uh, huh? Um, uh huh? Nothing. Father, when can I leave and explore the great outdoors? David, how goes it? Is the album almost done? Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's killer. <laughs> you could almost call it death metal. Even though that's already a genre. Hmm, interesting guy. He's the best. He may be the best, but I'll tell you what he's not the best at. Finding a good spot to sleep. I'm so gonna have to listen to this album once this movie's finished. I haven't listened to it yet. You know what I really want to do that's really dumb? <laughs> I'm gonna do one of those acapella things really quickly. Right, that's one of them. And here's the guitar. Alright, and then this one. I hope that turned out good. I hope that turned out good. Dude, I have blisters on my fucking blisters. My hands are killing me, dude. Nobody realizes how hard drumming and like guitar work is on your fingers. It is bad. Hey, mate, I think you're about to get killed. You've just pissed Dave Growl off. Dave Growl, the big fucking genius. Yeah, you're totally dead. <laughs> I write songs with no fucking endings. 40 minutes long. Hi, my name's Chris and I'm cooking a bit of meat and gossiping about my band members. Oh, I'm so cool. Need a beer or anything? Yeah, to shove up Dave's fucking ass. What was that line delivery? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, enjoy that sausage while you can, man. You are totally dead. <laughs> oh! Oh, fuck! Oh my god, I did not think you'd get killed like that. Oh, his face is gonna be fried. Oh, fuck! Why are you dressed like the gardener guy? You look like Postman Pat if things went wrong and he lost his job. Now, Dave, how are you gonna explain that to the rest of the band? <laughs> Holy shit! That's the guy that delivered all the food earlier. Was the guy that delivered all the food. At least take the ranch, guys. That's free ranch. You wanted me to hear this. How long has this guy been here? I don't fucking know. We haven't been keeping track. I'm picking up some energy beacons. There's no energy there. The uh, dead energy is what that is. First crew gets electrocuted and now this. I'm calling the cops. Oh, true. I forgot about that dude that got electrocuted at the start. Maybe Dave's right. We should call Shaw. I mean, look, if, if this gets out, it's going to be bad. Yeah, that's going to be a PR nightmare for you guys. They're going to turn this place into a crime scene. And you can kiss that awesome drum sound goodbye. Fuck the drum sound. There's been murders here. Fuck the album. He didn't want to fuck up our record. He loved this band. He died for our band. <laughs> You're a little bit confused there, Dave, my man. I'm gonna need everybody's cell phones and the keys to the van, because no one's going anywhere until we finish this song. What is this, Nine Perfect Strangers? No, I'm keeping my phone. I need to see pictures of my cat. You guys aren't even gonna put like a rug or blanket or something over the body. You're just gonna let it sit there like that without a head? I'm tired. He's sick of dead. And where's Shifty? Foreshadowing? Oh! Oh God! Dude! Is that Chris? 
You're eating Chris. The lady that left the lemon bar is not this. The sacrifice, ah, the sacrifice feeds the book. What did I say originally? The sacrifice teeth the book. That's you? What the hell? That is amazing. I can do a good magpie call. That's my magpie call. Guys, hey, to get over there so fast. Do you do anything other than stand by a fence? Do you have a life? I guess you could call yourself a fence sitter. <laughs> You ever hear of Dream Widow? Of course. I was his number one groupie and muse. Now we're taking advice from groupies. What the hell is a groupie? What is, what is that? A young woman who regularly follows a pop group or other celebrity, especially in the hope of having sex. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, given that information, you definitely look like a groupie. You're always sitting on a fence. Of course you'd want to be sitting on someone's dick. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Spectrophilia. He possessed this living... That is a cool looking book. ...made from human flesh. That is not a cool looking book. You guys were ghost fuckers? Huh? <laughs> you guys are a fucking Casper? Greg killed himself to stop the completion of the song. Oh, that gives a whole new meaning to the Foo Fighters song, Rope. Does... <laughs> <laughs> Ew. If I went anywhere with trees that had dolls hanging from them, I don't know what I would do, but I would be very scared. Yeah, well, he's already been possessed. Bring him down here. Maybe I can just suck it out the old-fashioned oh, way. Oh, hell no. Oh my, what? What the fuck? You're gonna blowjob a demon? Yeah, I'll just suck the demon out through his dick hole. No worries. Stay back and make sure I'm safe. She's right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I ain't going anywhere near that fucking psycho. Fuck that. No, just go up there and fuck up the drums so we can't finish the song. You guys go up there and fuck up Dave while I fuck this groupie. Careful. This is far from a simple possession. Far from a simple possession and you're going to be far from a simple position in a minute. Now go home. Leave. Get an Uber. You know, it's 2022. Order an Uber and leave. Oh. Right That's the weirdest sex conversation I've ever heard. Okay, so when a groupie ends up having sex with the person they're like fanning over, does that mean they've like achieved their life goal? Uh oh, Dave Grohl's coming to watch. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Oh, he's under the bed. No! No! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I do not know if I can show any of that. To give you a little bit of context, they were just on the bed. Dave Grohl underneath with a chainsaw just went right through the middle of both of them. Dude, you would give Leatherface a run for his money. Holy fuck. I'm never having sex ever again in my life. Just in case Dave Grohl is under the bed. You know what? I'm going to go to sleep tonight and be scared that Dave Grohl is under my bed. I never thought I would ever say that in my life. Holy fuck. That was fucked. Carl Kai. Someone take my boy Rocket down. God damn. Why is it steaming? That's not steam, that is mist. <laughs> Alex, you fucking idiot. You gotta admit, the design of that book is fucking sick though. That looks awesome. Oh! Ew! 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 Oh my god! I don't know if I'm sleeping tonight. I don't like the red eyes. I really don't like that. All we need to do is lay down the drums. Well, the drum, why, why don't you and Shifty do some more guitars? Shifty's done. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna leave, Dave. You might want to think about going back to Nirvana or something. Ah, 
Here we go. Exorcisms. No way are the Foo Fighters gonna perform an exorcism. What? What am I saying? I never thought I would ever say that in my life. You and me, right? We're drummers. Can't we just wait, dude? Just play the fucking drums. I forgot how to play the drums. As I said, phenomenal drummer. Taylor Hawkins was one of the best. Here you go, man. Oh! 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 Oh no! Oh dude, I can't watch that knowing what's just happened. Fuck me! Are you serious? That's Fucked. Oh, I did not know that was coming. I really wish I did. I wouldn't have watched that just happen. Can you throw like a drum thing through someone's head like that? All things being said just then, I know they had a blast filming that, so... Awesome. Look for these signs. Digestive system shut down. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> no more oatmeal beer bongs for Davey. Just play nice with this L sharp bullshit, right? Play E flat and get through it. Uh, Dave Grohl floating in the background. Masturbation. Oh god, Dave. no, no! Sounds like you're playing patty cake with the soft chicken dumpling. I'm so glad they didn't show Dave Grohl masturbating. Fuck, he's definitely possessed. You reckon? Oh god, what was that? Oh What's no, it's a wood chipper. Oh my god! That's not what wood chippers are for, Dave! Oh. <laughs> oh. Hiya, boys! <laughs> oh shit! See, I think the actual demon things are scarier when they're in the distance and blurred rather than just very clearly seen. Dave Grohl's just menacing in general. Kopi smells of holy water. The pool! The pool wouldn't have holy water in it. That's full of chlorine. To these sacred passages, I anoint this body of water as a conduit of purity. Oh, okay. You're gonna magic spell the water. <laughs> Guys, uh, Dave Grohl's turning more into a demon by the minute. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. I'm getting flashbacks to when my little brother wanted to beat me up and would like try and loop each other around the table and he would never be able to get me until he did. Hey, you got LED lighting in the pool. Fuck you! Could you throw the book into the holy water? Could you do that? I don't know, I've never been in a situation with the Foo Fighters like this before. First is right. He does make a killer barbecue. <laughs> I crush your pathetic souls! I command you to be gone from this human vessel! Is he gonna jump? <laughs> they just give him like an avatar airbender push? Oh! We saved the day, did we? <coughs> Last thing I remember is that fucking raccoon, man, and then- There's no way they saved the day. I fucking love you guys, man. I fucking love you. Oh, if that's what's coming out that end, imagine what's go! What I was trying to say is imagine what comes out the other end. Is that shifty? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's bits of your other band member just on the side of the pool. What the fuck? Oh god, what is that? Oh Jesus, what the fuck is that? Oh, it's the gardener man. Dave Grohl, you just vomited up an entire person. 
Hey, you bald-headed demon creep. Meet Rock and Roll. Bang, bang! <laughs> What? That angle is 100% stomp on the head. No? Ah, oh, I was hoping for a good head stomp. So they are opening the underworld? Oh shit, there goes Michael Jackson's soul. Ah, okay. Yeah, I get it. Ugh, Jenna Ortega, a little bit scary in this one. I was hoping for a good head stomp, but uh, that does just as well. Alright guys, so you want to keep going and doing that album or- <laughs> Guys, at least pick up the book and put it in like the recycling bin or something. Chuck it through the bloody wood chipper from earlier. Do something with it. Oh, this isn't going to end well, is it? <laughs> Leaving Dave Grohl by himself? This isn't going to end well at all. It's just Mr. Burns with the radiation. Hello, I bring you love. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. He's going to sleep under the car. Hit the gas when the wire makes contact. Is it the fucking blonde bitch? What are you doing here? See if there's any others left. Oh, it's the record label guy too. You have no idea what we just went through. The devil rules all of rock and roll. Uh-oh. I know exactly what's going on. You do? I just needed the right vehicle. Someone who can handle all that evil. Just get Marilyn Monroe to finish it. He's a batshit crazy person. Just get him to finish it. Okay, you don't know the first fucking thing about music. You just want to make your money. No shit. Of course he wants you just to make money. We're really just having a nutsack battle. Who has the strongest nutsack? Bingo! Dude, if you had started talking like that in a conference room at the start, we would have just gone with Universal. <laughs> what? Oh! Oh, fuck! You just got a double kill and you weren't even aware of it. Bat. So bad. Hey, I was right. Earlier I said Pat is gonna get smeared. He just got smeared all over the road. That is brutal. Damn. And she died too? That was her last thing she did? Fuck. That's kind of a boss ass move to just take that guy out as you die. You finished it. You finished the song, didn't you? They did finish the song, though. Out of all the bands in the world, Foo Fighters would be the one to finish a song like that. It's time for your solo career. A few moments later. That is a full house out there. Oh, dude, that is so depressing. Him sitting by himself. I hate that visual. Ooh. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, d ew. Ugh, don't stare at me like that, Dave. I know that if I had seen this in cinemas, I would have been fucking rocking out in my chair. <laughs> Love dies young. I get it. <laughs> I get why you picked this song for the credits. You also could have picked Let It Die as well. I told you, I'm a massive Foo Fighters fan. All right, so that was Studio 666, otherwise known as Dave Grohl has a bloody good time with his band. <laughs> Can't even bring myself to finish it. I really, really, really enjoyed that. Um, that was a great time. Once I got in the mentality of these guys probably had a blast making this, I had a way more enjoyable time. As I said at the start of the video, I don't think the Foo Fighters will be around too much longer. I think they'll split and go their separate ways, uh, just disband altogether. This is the second person Dave Grohl has lost that has been incredibly close to him. So I don't imagine that they will continue. However, this movie is like a great little encapsulation of how much that band has fun together. Like they fucking made a movie. 
They made a movie about creating an album in a haunted house. Bands dream of doing things like that. And, you know, Foo Fighters got to do it. With all that being said, my rating for Studio 666 is going to be an easy 4.5 out of 5. I would give it 5, but I feel like that third act, you know, it slumps a tiny bit. But I still had a great time, so 4.5 stars easily. I'll definitely watch that again at some point. That's where I'm going to leave the video for today. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a big like or a little like, depending on your drum size. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy movie commentaries, reactions, or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching this with me. If you want to support me on Patreon and see videos a whole day early, links are down below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but for now, I'm actually going to show you a new cool trick I've learned, and it's this. Ready? only as good as his drummer yeah band's only as good as a drummer and only as bad as their drummer as well so like it's intimidating there's no question when i joined the band i was super intimidated because you know what's it like being the drummer for the greatest drummer of the 90s i'm like oh hard <laughs>